We've witnessed many innovative methods for creating text, and as those methods improved, so did image creation. Then, we have seen some incredible pioneering efforts for producing films and even 3D models from text. Just consider how challenging it would be to create something that might resemble an actual item in the real world from nothing more than a text. So here is a new one that's not just a first step, but a giant leap towards text-based 3D model generation. MV Dream. Despite being a critical step in the pipeline for modern games and media, producing 3D content takes a long time. Talented designers may spend hours or even days on a single 3D object. Therefore, a system that makes it simple for non-technical individuals to produce 3D content is highly valuable. Existing template-based generation pipelines, 3D generative models, and 2D lifting techniques are the three kinds of 3D object production methods. Due to the smaller number of available 3D models and the substantial data complexity, template-based generators and 3D generative models may rarely extend to arbitrary item manufacturing today. Their original content is frequently restricted to a few categories, mostly everyday items with simple topologies and textures. Popular 3D components, however, are regularly combined in commercial settings with complex, imaginative, and possibly unrealistic architecture and aesthetics. Recent studies on 2D lifting methods suggest that pre-trained 2D generation models may be employed for 3D generation. The most often used representations are Dream Fusion and Magic 3D systems, which employ 2D diffusion models as a kind of supervision for enhancing a 3D representation, such as Nerve, through score distillation sampling. These 2D models, created from massive datasets of 2D images, have excellent generalizability and may create speculative and unexplored scenarios, the details of which can be specified by text input making them useful tools for creating beautiful 3D assets. MV Dream or Multi-View Diffusion for 3D generation, a diffusion model developed by ByteDance researchers can produce excellent 3D representations from text prompts. Similar models already exist, but MV Dream achieves comparably high quality and does away with two major drawbacks of competing strategies. These frequently experience content drift and the Janus Dilemma. For instance, a generated plate of waffles alters the amount and arrangement of the waffles, depending on the viewing position. Or a generated Baby Yoda has numerous faces. You can see that it looks like MV Dream is capable of comprehending physics. Just one line of text results in the creation of a very good 3D model. How awesome is that? But much cooler is how it functions. So let's get started right away. ByteDance trains a diffusion model like Stable Diffusion to address this issue using numerous views of 3D objects and typical prompt image pairs. To do this, the researchers produce a sizable array of 3D models from various viewpoints and camera angles. According to the researchers, this accomplishment was made feasible by combining a multi-view dataset created from 3D components with image diffusion models that had already been trained on large web datasets. The adaptability of 2D fusion models and the coherence of 3D data are combined to create the final multi-view diffusion model. As a result, it serves as an important multi-view reference for creating 3D material using score distillation sampling, considerably enhancing the stability of current 2D lifting techniques by addressing the issue of 3D consistency. The team also points out that the multi-view diffusion model can be customized with just a few input samples, making it appropriate for customized 3D generation such as in the Dream Boot 3D application. In these situations, the model is still able to maintain consistency while learning the subject's identification. When you look at a 3D model, the biggest challenge is that each view from where you're looking at it needs to generate realistic and high-quality images, and those views need to be spatially coherent. One of the common methods for creating 3D models is to replicate a camera's view angle and then create what the camera should be viewing from this vantage point. Since we create typical images and combine them to view a complete 3D scene, this process is known as 2D lifting. Next, go through each angle that might be taken off the object. We are accustomed to seeing strange artifacts like this since the model tries to create one view at a time and doesn't sufficiently understand the entire item in the 3D environment. MV Dream, however, took a significant step in this regard by adopting a method known as score distillation sampling, which Dream Fusion, another text of 3D methodology, developed. They addressed what we refer to as the 3D consistency problem and even asserted to have solved it. What tech are they using? We must understand that their architecture, before moving to the score distillation sampling method, it's another 2D image diffusion model, similar to Steady Diffusion, Mid Journey, or DALI. To be more precise, 
They began with a Dream Booth model that had already been trained. Dream Booth is a potent open source model that produces visuals based on stable diffusion. Then, after being trained on a 3D dataset of numerous objects, they modified it to generate a series of multi-view images directly rather than just one image. Here we use a 3D object from their dataset and several views to train the model to produce views backwards. This is accomplished by substituting the blue self-attention block seen below for a 3D one adding a dimension to reconstruct numerous images instead of just one. To help the model comprehend where an image is heading and what kind of view is to be generated, you can see below that the camera and time step are additional inputs for each view. Since all the photos are now linked and produced collectively, they may exchange information and comprehend the overall context to a greater extent. After feeding it your text, you train the model to precisely rebuild the objects from the dataset. They use their multi-view score distillation sampling method in this situation, although they now have a multi-view diffusion model that can provide numerous views of an item. They also needed to rebuild reliable 3D models, not just views. Nerf or neural radiance fields are frequently used for this, like with DreamFusion, which we previously noted. Their learned multi-view diffusion model is essentially used and frozen. For example, it is being used but not trained. Using the multi-view diffusion model, we create an initial image version that is influenced by the caption and has additional noise. We add noise to provide the model with the information that it needs to produce a distinct rendition of the image while still giving it context. The model is then used to produce a better quality image. To use this result as guidance and improve the nerf model for the following stage, upload the image used to build it and remove the noise that we manually inserted. All of this is done to help us understand more clearly where in the image the nerf model should pay attention to provide better outcomes in the following stage, and we keep doing that till the 3D model is perfect. This new method still has certain drawbacks, chief among which is the poor resolution of the generation which is just 256 by 256, despite the amazing appearance of the outputs. The size of the data set used for this assignment, which is considerably too tiny to accurately depict our complicated world, is also mentioned as a restriction of the generalizability of the approach. What makes MV Dream different? A collection of multi-view photos produced by MV Dream are consistent with one another. To inherit their generalizability, it incorporates transfer learning models that have already been trained and built upon the architecture design of 2D image diffusion models. MV Dream renders multi-view images from a genuine 3D dataset to achieve consistency and generalizability. By resolving the 3D consistency issue, MV Dream enhances the stability of current 2D lifting techniques and employs score distillation sampling for 3D creation under multi-view supervision from the diffusion model. This enables MV Dream to produce unexpected and fictitious 3D content specified by text input. For customized 3D generation, MV Dream can be fine-tuned under a few shots setup. After fine-tuning, it retains multi-view consistency while assimilating identification data from a series of supplied photos. This qualifies MV Dream for programs like DreamBooth 3D. To conclude, MV Dream is a potent multi-view diffusion model that bridges the gap between 2D and 3D generation. It may be adjusted for customized 3D content development and delivers increased stability and consistency in 3D generation. With its features, MV Dream creates new opportunities for amateurs to create 3D material quickly and easily. With increasing advancement in LLMs and other text-based AIs, the general AI has taken massive feats, but the same cannot be implied for design softwares. Now that MV Dream has attained the 3D mapping techniques like never before, it is pretty clear that AI has taken on the design field especially involving 3D rendering synonymous with the other fields. That's it guys, what do you think of this cool tech advancement? Let us know in the comments below. Also, subscribe for more videos!